hello guys welcome to another video here uh, in this video I'm going to be showing how we can do some file transfer from uh, your Linux machine or Kali Linux or let's just say an attacker machine to Windows machine and uh, basically uh, we'll start by let's say if we create let me create a folder here make directory file transfer cd into file transfer and let's and let's just create a you know a txt file let's say we use touch um test one dot txt and let's so we'll have our file here let's say you have this file text one dot txt and you want to transfer this particular text one dot txt to your windows machine all right so the first thing you do is to open up a server you it's more like a channel through which you can make this transfer there are so many options of servers that you can use and using the python server is an example under the python server there are two variants that we you can possibly use you either use um python dash m http.server and then the port number you want to transfer through or you can use python 2 dash m and then simple http uh, http server so for now let's just use this first one python dash m http.server and then the port number let's just say we're using port 80 81 okay then we hit enter it's going to say serving http on an ip then port 8081 another example of servers that we can use is updog you can install updog into your kali machine hopefully we might try that option here so now that you have a server running and make sure you're opening this server under the uh, folder or directory at which you want to transfer that particular file or that the file you want to transfer belongs to uh, let's head on to the windows machine and then let's go over to uh, the command prompt i like to use windows r hit command prompt okay so we're here right now so the um, to make a transfer into this machine you go to the folder at which you want to transfer it to um directory let me see what is here okay uh let's just cd to desktop Alright, TIR. Okay. Now we're in the desktop. So this is exactly where I want to copy the test1.txt. So all I have to do uh, is to go into PowerShell because you can't use the wget command on the normal command prompt. So you either you open up a PowerShell or you use the command prompt but type PowerShell first. So two ways either you tap powershell first and then the commands or you hit powershell and go into powershell mode just like we just done now we'll go over with the command is wget http all right now we have we need to type in the uh, ip address of my kali and let me just quickly check that out so the ip address of my kali is ipa or if config this is it 192.168.10.106 copy that and then we'll go back to our machine here ctrl v remember the port at which you're transferring this with this is 8081 slash what's the name of the file you're transferring test 1.txt okay now we have to use a switch code o which is for output then you name the way you the name of the file or how you want it to be copied normally you would transfer it the same way which is text1.txt or you can just put it to text11.txt just to give you an instance then if you hit enter it's done as you can notice here on my desktop you already appeared here but you can just do dir to confirm that particular file is on your desktop you know it was a dummy file we created which is the file length is zero so there's nothing inside so that's how you can successfully transfer from your kali linux 
to windows and now when you back to your kali you're going to see a 200 okay which means the get request was successful okay so basically that's how you do the transfer now also have another option to make a transfer uh, from um, you know Kali to Windows in this case let's just use Updog I'm gonna use Updog I already installed Updog but if you don't have Updog in your Kali you can just use um, app to install Updog or pip install Updog or you just type Updog and then follow the uh, prompt to upload it but the code is updog p which is for port 80 in this case i like to open it on port 443 for instance and then hit enter as you can see it's running we have our server running and we still want to transfer text1.txt all right so with updog running right now uh, i'm coming back to my um, to my windows in this case uh, let's say the wget doesn't work. There are certain cases where wget doesn't work and then we need to use a, an option called set util. Now the thing about set util is uh, it works on your normal command prompt without using PowerShell. So wget usually works with PowerShell while set util doesn't really, it doesn't need to be on PowerShell. So uh, let's just open up a command prompt quickly. okay so we cd into desktop as usual dr oh my god I'm supposed to use the small letter so we have text1.txt here so set youtube dash url cache dash split dash f and now http the kali linux uh oh my god i didn't know i could read that the kali my kali linux uh ip address which is this And then remember we are using we are doing this on port 443 slash the name of the file text one dot tst i hope i have this correctly and then we hit enter if you watch it says search util dash url command complete okay so we have this successful and if you look on the desktop here we have text one appearing here so that's also another way to do this uh so you can type dir and you're able to see text one.txt all right that's that for now i hope we've learned something today basically by learning how to transfer um files from kali to windows or basically from your attacker to target and basically uh we've used two servers you can use python and up dog and also you can use wget and set it too i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you enjoy the rest of your day ciao